and I stand in line. You guys, I try not to be judgmental. I do love these kids, but I don't understand. I was standing in line the other day, and there was a kid in front of me, and he had, he had, uh, he had the hockey pucks embedded in his earlobes. <laughs> What, what is that? Do you understand what that is? You guys know what that is? What do they call that? Gate, what is it, gate, gauges? Well, I'm gauging they don't have any grandparents. That's what I'm gauging. <laughs> no, because if they did, they'd know that your nose and your ears don't stop growing. <laughs> By the time those holes are 65, they're so big, it's just another way for the grandkids to get in the truck. <laughs> Put your foot down there, baby. I got you. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> the, 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 um, <laughs> I meant this story. And every single one of you people in the room have this person in your life. And it doesn't make you a bad person. It's just, we all have them. You know that one person you see at a sporting event or a church or at, somebody, at somebody's house and they're always really happy to see you. They say, oh, hi, how are you? You're going, hi, don't come over. <laughs> oh, come over, oh, come over. And, it's, <laughs> and it doesn't make us bad. It just means we don't have much to talk about and, and they bore us. And it's okay because we bore somebody else. It's okay. You know, but mine's at the grocery store, and this gentleman's, I've been, I've known him for many, many years. He's a, a checker. He's a very nice man. He's a low talker, you guys. He's a very low talker. And on top of that, he has a beautiful East Indian accent. So when I can understand him, I don't understand him. <laughs> when I can hear him, sometimes I get it wrong. And I avoid him because I've made a fool of myself a couple different times. And so he stepped into the checker the other day and I'm standing in line. I'm going, just be nice, Susan, just be nice. <laughs> just lie, just smile. And he likes to chat and I can't stand for very long. So I'm st just be, be nice. I'm sure I said it out loud, dude, just be nice. <laughs> and I get up there and he's, oh, what are you doing? Oh, God, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, wait, on this, I think I get a discount on that. And this is what I thought I heard him say. God, are you retarded? <laughs> Excuse me, are you, are you retarded? <laughs> Well, there's never been testing. <laughs> you guys, he said retired. It's not fair. It's not fair. I will say one thing good about my nieces. I've, I've been, I've been kind of mean to them, but you know they try. They, I had a, I had a birthday not long ago, and I, you know, I don't like, I don't like presents. I don't want presents. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. Just hang out, chat, laugh with me, laugh, you know, laugh. But they, you know, they, and they can't keep a secret either. They can't. Oh my God! I, we, I, we went out to lunch for my birthday, and they all got up to go to the bathroom when the check came. And <laughs> <laughs> I taught them well. <laughs> and when my one niece came back before the other one, she goes, "We got you something." I said, "What'd you get me?" She goes, "I can't. I can't tell you." I go, okay, it's a gift card, okay. <laughs> <laughs>